What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to control the volume and some other keys as well without physically touching the buttons. Now, and this is going to add, basically add a little shortcut to your screen. You're not going to download any apps or anything like that. Now, of course you could just come into your volume and choose volume and control it right here. But I'm actually going to be able to show you how to do it from any screen, just like you could do it with the physical button. So let's get into this video. So swipe down from the top and hit that little gear. And that is going to bring us into settings. Once we're in settings, we're going to go down until we see accessibility. So find accessibility. Once we're here, we're looking for interaction and dexterity. So make sure you tap on that. This is the menu right here, assistant menu, turn that on. It's basically telling you that it needs full control of your phone. It's appropriate for apps that help you with accessibility needs, but not for most apps it includes these permissions. Basically hit allow, make sure you hit allow. Cause if you don't hit allow, then you're done for. And you're going to see you have this little menu button right here and you can move it pretty much wherever you want. Now I can't put it as low as my navigation buttons down there, but beyond that, you can pretty much put it wherever you want. So maybe I want it on the, I'll just put it over here. So I have it at the bottom right. Now I can still open my uh, my, my Viber app if I need to, just need to click it over there. Maybe I'll put it here since there's no apps there. So when I tap this, you're gonna see, it brings up a special menu and it brings up my recent apps menu, it brings up home, I can hit back, I can do turn my screen off if need be. I can control the volume and look, I can control the volume very easily. I can even tap these pluses and minuses if need be, and that's going to control um, my volume for the phone. Now, when you turn that and hit the X, obviously it's still there. I can even do a screenshot button. You can see screenshots, my button, a uh, really easy screenshot. I can swipe over. I can bring down my notification panel. I can pinch to zoom if I'm in something and I'll, why don't we just check that out real quick. And now I could pinch in like that, but again, I'm able to do it here. I can go pinch to zoom and I can, whoops, that went through the thing. You can see pinch is right in there. I can hit the plus sign to go even further or I can zoom out if need be. So really cool stuff there. You also have your power off menu. You can tap that and it brings up my power off menu. I don't have to press and hold the button so cool and it just sits on no matter what app you're in so even though i have this app open it's still there i can, can control it i can bring up a cursor if i want and i can click on things here so if i wanted to click on that i can just tap and it brings it up close it when you're done you also have screen control which allows you to i'm actually not sure you guys can let me know what this does i'm not even sure what this ends up doing Maybe it makes it bigger or smaller. I'm not really totally sure of that. You also have menu settings, tap that, and it brings you up your settings on here that you're able to go back into pretty quickly. But ultimately, I kind of wanted to show you that, that you, that you can replace your buttons right there and you still have control and it sits on top of any screen that you have up there, no matter what you're doing, you still have full control of it. So really cool. I'm actually gonna see if I can live with it and keep it there and see if it helps me out in my life. So there you guys go, cool little trick. Thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road. Peace.